Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. This is a continuation of the detailed Mavic Teardown video, which was um, very popular. People seem to want to know what's inside these little things. And there was a couple of comments which said it's like a mobile phone inside a drone. And the more I've looked at it and I just removed the cans to look at what chips are inside the Mavic, the more I believe that it is actually so. So today we're going to take a look at what the chips are, what chips are used, and um, what purpose they serve. I'm by no means a professional, so if I make mistakes, please don't crucify me. It's I'm just going on what I could find on the internet um, through my research and what I know about how these things work. Here we go. Anyway, so we'll start with this block here. This is the Mavic. This is the back of the Mavic. There's the front. There's the camera. So this is the same board you saw in last times, in the last uh, video in the teardown, and we're going to start with this little block here. So generally, this block being so close in such close proximity to the RF, the um, transmitters and receivers, this most likely and is actually to do with the transmission of the signals. So. What we have here is an ACP ED87458KB, and that's an RF chip. I couldn't find all the information on this chip in particular, but it's used in um, cell phones, it's used in mobile phones for the RF modulation. Um, so this must be the, the one that actually creates the 2.4 gigahertz signal which gets sent out, which your receiver in your, your remote control in your hand um, receives and links to. Probably also sends out the video signal, I presume. There's two here, two aerials, one for video, one for for the control. And this little chip here is a Skyworks chip, and that's a power amplifier for RF signals. So that amplifies whatever transmission we have and sends it out to your uh, transmitter and for the video and obviously the controller signals. Both these chips are used inside the Xiaomi Redmi 2A mobile phone. That's how I was able to find them. I googled both of these chips and that actually there was a teardown for that Xiaomi um, mobile phone and they use the same chips. So that's interesting. I wonder if there's any connection between using it in here and using it in the Xiaomi phone in terms of a partnership between the manufacturers. But anyway, so Moving on to this chip here, this is a Mobidus uh, MA2100A. It's a vision processing unit. This chip, Mobidus, is an Intel owned company. And this chip does all the active track, tap to fly, and obstacle detection and avoidance. So this one is a little powerhouse, a beast. It does um, basically live decoding of whatever the cameras see, the multiple cameras, including the front HD camera and the vision sensors, and translates that into a signal which the CPU can then crunch. And it actually, um, I mean, if you consider that the, the vision cameras, these bottom ones as well, are also used for some kind of optical avoidance or knowing when the craft can land properly. The front optical avoidance cameras are actually for optical avoidance and the main camera is used for uh, when you want to circle around a subject and then follow it. This chip will be the one responsible for all of that. Now, um, just a quick note, these cans, they just lift off. They're not soldered down. You can just pop them off. Inside was some, some thermal paste which linked them to the top and then more thermal paste linked those to the cover which you've seen in the previous video. So moving on to the top here. All right, let's start with this chip here. This chip is an Micron uh, chip an Alpida B8123B4PM10F. This is DDR2 SRAM, 8 gigs, 8 gigabytes of SRAM, and that memory will be used with the Amberella chip 
This Amberella chip is the exact one which was used in the GoPro Hero 3 Black. It is. It does the encoding and it encodes it and sends it to the memory which then in turn writes it to the SD card. If you're wondering why this cover is off, I just wanted to see what's inside there. That's just a shield. Um, no harm, no foul. That's the shield for the SD card. Um, it's just a casing. So I was interested. So this is just the memory used in conjunction with the Amberella A9-A1-RH. That's a camera system on a chip. You've probably heard that name before because it's been used and mentioned in GoPros. It does autofocus um, for the camera as well. It contains an ARM Cortex-A9 CPU, which does the heavy lift work, and then obviously the encoding and decoding of signals. This is the digital processing unit, a 32-bit DSP built into this chip as well. Very powerful, as I said, used in the GoPro Hero 3 Black. Um, so this will do the actual video capture, storing it to the RAM and writing it to the SD card. That's why this thing can do 4K at 30 FPS. The newer version of this does 4K at 60 FPS. So I presume the Mavic 2 will have the newer version of this chip inside it. Right, moving on to this side. Here we have a, this chip here is a lead core LC1860C CPU. This is an ARM CPU. It's the brains of this whole uh, Mavic. So all the other instructions will, even though there's dedicated chips to do certain things, which I guess if you put a bigger CPU, you can do it all inside there, but they use the dedicated hardware to do all the vision sensing and this kind of things. Well, actually, I don't think vision sensing. I think you need something dedicated for that. But nevertheless, um, it's a CPU used in phones, um, in cheaper, lower end phones. It is, runs at 1.5 gigahertz. It uses a four core ARM Cortex A7 MP core processor unit. It's also got a 32-bit built-in digital pro signal processing. I don't think it's used um, as much. I think most of the processing for the video signals happen in this, but this is the brain box of everything. So the software which runs on here is on there. This is some memory. This is the memory for the processor to use. That is a SEC 65B213, four gigabytes of DDR3 memory. I don't know the manufacturer. Um, I couldn't find anything on it. And this is the memory for the CPU. The reason I found it is because this memory chip is used inside the Amazon Echo Dot, which there's a teardown of, and they mentioned this part number. So that's very interesting. And one more chip up here is the lead core LC1160. That's a power management IC. Um, presumably, as you can, well, there's, there's also all these passive components around the edge of this um, power management IC. And this would be responsible for providing all the correct voltages to all these other chips. And you can see it's lead core, and this is also lead core. So these would normally go hand in hand anyway, as well as the memory, I presume. So that's the chips inside the uh, Mavic. I'm going to be doing another video shortly where I tear down the top of it because people have wanted to see that as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any other questions, as usual, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to answer them. Thanks for watching. Cheers.